one of my biggest arthritis pet peeves is the lack of representation in these arthritis commercials. It's 2021 and you would think that we would do better. When I saw this Voltaren gel commercial last year, and I use this by the way, I was a little taken aback. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Afi. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why arthritis commercials have it all wrong. I'm going to be focusing on one that recently came out in 2020 for a pain reliever for arthritis pain called Voltren. I believe I'm saying this correctly, I probably butchered it, but you know, they butchered their commercial. I'm going to be showing you guys a couple other commercials for two biologics that are used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and other related conditions. One is fairly recent and another one is from eight years ago and I'm doing this purposely to show you guys the difference in about almost a decade of how representation hasn't really changed much. And you would think that with so much awareness going on with arthritis in the world, they would actually do a better job to show all aspects of arthritis, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Usually in these commercials, they show the positive, the good side, the hopeful side. You know, that's okay, they can do that because when you get diagnosed with an autoimmune form of arthritis, or have degenerative forms of arthritis, you can still live a vibrant, thriving life. They tend to show people who are one specific look, and they don't really tend to show people using wheelchairs, canes, with deformities. I don't know why that is. Maybe they don't want to scare people. Maybe they want people to come and buy their brands, take their medicine to treat the RA. There can be many reasons, you know, and only they know, but they do need to show all phases of arthritis. A few years ago, Voltren was only a prescription. You can only get it if a doctor ordered it for you, but now it's over the counter and you can find it pretty much anywhere. Target, on Amazon, and any local pharmacy or drugstore will carry this. I recently went to Target and picked one up myself. I got this small tube for about nine something. They have different sizes, so it really depends on your preference and your price range. I like getting the small one just because I try not to use this a lot. I have to caution people because a lot of times we think that if something's topical, it must be safer. This is a great alternative for people who have trouble swallowing pills and don't really like that route. But when I started using it, I noticed that my liver enzymes each time I did were slightly raised. Nothing too high, but every time I had stopped using the gel, the numbers would go back down into more of the normal range. I realized that it was this gel, and it is a NASAD. One example of a NASAD out there on the market is ibuprofen. That's a pill. If you know anything about ibuprofen, you are supposed to take it as directed. And same thing with this gel right here. You don't want to overdo it. Last summer, I probably maybe overdid it, which I didn't think I did, but I was having a really bad flare in my surgical knee. I had a knee replacement in 2016. There was a fluid filled sac that we have behind here that filled up a little bit and it was really hard for me to straighten my leg out, which I experienced prior to knee replacement surgery, so it was a little worrisome. I had been using this in hopes that it would reduce the inflammation and the pain and it worked a little bit, but it wasn't anything permanent. I ended up having to go on a short burst of prednisone for two weeks, starting at 10 milligrams for one week and then five milligrams the other week and eventually it went away. I sometimes still struggle with it a little bit at times, but it goes away real quick. And my osteopath, if anyone has this issue, did some adjustment in the back of my knee when I was starting to feel it again about two weeks ago, and I haven't had any problems since. So really look into osteopathic work if you guys are having issues with your knee like that. I know other times they use cortisone treatments and injections and also recommend you try something like this. But for me, that's why I don't like using this too much and I rely on CBD cream, Biofreeze, and other alternative methods just because I don't want my liver enzymes raising if I end up using too much. This brand markets it as a powerful pain reliever in a gel, a great alternative to a pill. They say that it can help relieve joint pain, improve mobility, and reduce stiffness. Here is the commercial that just launched last year. 
I'm a performer. Always have been and always will be. Never letting anything get in my way. Not the doubts, distractions, or voice in my head. It features Paula Abdul. Many of you know her. She is a world-renowned choreographer, dancer, and many other things. She also was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and later on osteoarthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis are not the same thing. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. It attacks the lining of the joints. It causes joint pain, inflammation, and irreversible joint damage and deformities at times, as you can see here in my hand. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative form of arthritis and usually caused from wear and tear. It's not surprising that she would have osteoarthritis because she has been a dancer her whole life and she's been used to putting her body in different positions, which she talks about in several articles that I looked up. Before Voltaren Arthritis Pain Gel, my husband would have been on the sidelines. But not anymore. An alternative to pills, Voltaren is the first full prescription strength non-steroidal anti-inflammatory gel to target pain directly at the source for powerful arthritis pain relief. Voltaren, the joy of movement. In both of these commercials, they make it seem that if you just slather this on, you will be able to do everything that your heart desires. And that's not true. It's false advertising because I've used this and I haven't been able to move that way. I know that I'm just one person, but there's many people I've talked to who feel that they haven't gotten the 100% relief that they were hoping for. And the one good thing about these commercials is that they show the invisible illness side of arthritis, where someone may look good from the outside, but on the inside, things are not looking too good. And that's why we often hear people say you look fine, but you don't look sick, but you don't look ill. And they do a good job showing that people can look fine from the outside and still need to use this and may have trouble moving about the way they want to. I wish that they could also show people who have more visible signs of arthritis who are using this gel, show them doing activities that they love. Now, this brings me to another commercial that has nothing to do with this pain relieving gel, but it's for Humira, which is a biologic. I personally have taken this and I'm not on it anymore. And I just wanted to show you guys this commercial. If you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis and you're talking to your doctor about your medication, this is Humira. This is Humira helping to relieve my pain and protect my joints from further damage. This is Humera helping me go further. Humera works for many adults. Once again, we are met with someone who has no visible signs of arthritis doing many activities. And it would be nice if we can see someone who does have visible signs closing a suitcase or using modifications or asking for help to lift the suitcase above her head and put it in the carriage on the airplane and do a bunch of other things. Why not? But these pharmaceutical companies, for some reason, do not want to do so. And here is another commercial from eight years ago. It's for Umbral, another biologic used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, which they say in the commercial, and a bunch of other related conditions. When you have joint pain and stiffness, accomplishing even little things can become major victories. This Umbral commercial features a pro golfer and what I really like about this commercial is how they actually say it's hard to do the little things and they actually show him doing these things. He doesn't have any visible signs of the disease yet again. It would be nice if they could include someone with maybe hands like mine or who needs to use assistive devices and mobility aids to do these things. In the middle to the end of the commercial, he has a group of kids come and greet him because since he's a pro athlete, he probably has a lot of fans and younger people looking up to him. And the one thing that I wanted to say about this is that it would be really nice if they could include a child within this commercial who lives with juvenile arthritis. And yes, kids get arthritis too, so it would have been amazing if he met another kid who had arthritis and he signed something for him and gave him hope that, you know, you can be something too, just don't give up, you know? And even if you have this disease or condition, you can still achieve great things, even if you're still young and you get older and you wanna be a pro golfer too, you can do that. That would have been a great message, but it was mainly more centered on him 
and then they kind of tied it into a cheesy ending and like saying the little things matter and then there was like a group of little kids like and enjoying like his pro golf game whatever it was so yeah those are my thoughts about these commercials and this Voltron gel commercial really got me thinking of other commercials I've seen and there's a bunch of other ones out there that I haven't addressed but these are the ones I came across that really explained what I really wanted to talk about in this video today so that's all I have for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned until next time and before we go I want to announce the Spoonie Star supporter of the week here they are. Thank you so much for your love and your support. If you want to be my next shout out, all you've got to do is stay active on my Instagram and YouTube channel.